The world's biggest drug maker, Pfizer, reporting earnings this morning. It beat analyst estimates after trimming its workforce and gaining new products through its takeover of Wyeth. For more on Pfizer's results, we're joined now in our stock therapy segment uh, with uh, Shannon Pettipe. Shannon, good to see you. Um, okay, so Pfizer earnings beat the street, but the sales were a little bit softer, right? Right, yeah. And we're starting to get a picture of what this company looks like after this Wyeth acquisition, which they did a year ago. When you strip out the Wyeth products, when you look aside all the cost cuts, and charges that they've taken, and you really look to the core of Pfizer, you can see why this acquisition was so important, because mm. the Pfizer products aren't really doing that well. A lot of the earnings growth and revenue growth is being driven by YF. And you're seeing kind of staples of Pfizer, like Celebrex, Viagra, Lipitor. Sales are starting to decline. Really? And, and that's even considering price hikes that the company's taken over the past year. So you can see why the addition of these YF products is important and how that's kind of helping carry the weight for some of these other Pfizer, Pfizer products. And these drugs sales are declining because why? Well, it could be a number of factors. Health reform could be having an impact. We're starting to see the first full year since the implementation of health reform. Um, and at the same time, you know, Pfizer's had a lot of competition out there, especially with generic, um, you know, coming on the market and posing sort of a, a challenge to these products that the company hasn't really been able to step up to yet. Right. And the, and the outlook for the, what did that company say about the outlook for the company past Lipitor? Right. Well, they said a little bit better outlook. They raised the lower end of their guidance for 2010. For 2012, they reaffirmed their targets, which a lot of analysts have said seem pretty optimistic. And they may continue to feel that way, given that sales fell a little bit short here. But the company still continues to say 2012, which is the year after they lose patent on mm -hmm. their top-selling drug, the Libertor cholesterol pill. Revenue will be a little bit less, but there's not going to be a huge cliff huge that some people off. were expecting. Yeah. Okay. Um, and you mentioned health care reform earlier. So what's health care reform going to look like after the election? Right. Well, if Republicans do take more seats in the House and Senate as expected, they are planning sort of a death by a thousand cuts to this health reform bill. Um. They probably don't have enough votes to uh, bypass a veto by Obama, but they could sort of start chipping away at this. And there's pretty much no aspect to this health reform bill that Republicans like. They would like to see everything about it They changed. want to roll back. Exactly. And in the House, Boehner has a proposed bill. Um, if that doesn't catch on, in the Senate, they'll try and chip away at this. They call it delay and dismantle, take it apart piece by piece. And even if they're not successful there, they're hoping that if nothing else, they can pressure uh, Democrats into some embarrassing votes or some unpopular votes on certain aspects of this that could okay. hurt them later down. Okay. So death by a thousand cuts. Jeez. Okay. Okay. So what's been happening so far, though, on the impact on the companies. You mentioned the drug makers, but who else? Right. Well, drug makers, insurers, medical device makers, pretty much anyone across the board. And a lot of companies, you know, we just saw an acquisition the other day. We were talking about McKesson buying U.S. Oncology. Mm -hmm. I mean, that is, in a way, related to health reform because McKesson, a drug distributor, is saying there's going to be a lot of pressure on costs coming from the government. There's going to be a oh, big okay. focus on lowering costs. Let's make this deal to try and lower it somehow. Interesting. Um, but in earnings, drug makers, they've said it's been a little bit less than expected, but still, it's there.